All right. Welcome back tonight, everyone. Welcome back. <clears throat> We're running late due to the weather. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to stay on for a while. Have a little fallout fun. We'll have to see. Hey, Doc. How you doing, man? Dog meat, get get out of the wall. Uh, I'm seeing enough weird shit today. Get out of the wall. Uh, did we sleep? No, we have not. be quite honest we just got power back a little while ago and all i want to do is sleep but <laughs> we missed we only had an hour and a half last night so i'm gonna try to get more than that tonight that's good to hear good to hear <laughs> well last night we went through the gauntlet um I wouldn't give for a good stiff drink oh uh, okay Kate pick up water and I would have I would have done this all earlier but yeah weather lights things like that yeah uh, how much water we have on us 12 I'll take all of them we'll go through them okay of taking up the wedding ring.
Okay, looks like everything's ready. Uh, now what are we gonna do? I'm afraid if I go talk to Dr. Lee and we do airship down, that's pretty much the end of the game. Uh, the vanilla game, you know, without DLC and anything. Um, <clears throat> now, I'm about giving up on getting the quest to get rid of Justin Ao. And um, I'd, have to re I'd have to refer back to the comments, but I think Lucky Heather said it was the 23rd. So, um, it is the 10th now, that's 13 days. Um, we could probably go ahead and finish this out and then start a new one while we're waiting on that. Greater Mass Blood Clinic, that's Fort Hagen. Okay. All right. Um, turn that off for now. I can't even see that in there. That's all right, though. Okay, where are we going? That way. Little tidbit some of y'all may not know. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology, CIT, is actually based on MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It would be interesting if things did go south, what they would do. Now, the Boston mayor had this place made on taxpayer money for himself. And when the residents of Boston found out about it, um, well, they were, needless to say, pretty upset. And they murdered a whole bunch of people to uh, try to get in.
and the mayor um, committed suicide in the bathtub with a toaster to try to make them happy and save his wife and kids. Didn't work. Spoiler alert. I've been in here a few times. Now, there's a death claw in here somewhere, and it's full of scents, but we're Institute, so the scents should be uh, friendly with us. Just like that, if you can find that decrepit house in the glowing sea, it has a, a defense intelligence agency bunker under it. Uh, at least I think it's DIA. And uh, you can go explore that place also, and it is full of scents. There's also uh, power armor in there and some other things. But uh, I have a hard time finding a house. I find it every now and then. And then I don't. But these are all Boston residents that died getting in here. And I came down here because this is normally a place we don't really go. We're not going to pick up brooms. <laughs> Okay. Well, um, it's like the ones, what was that quest? We did it on this playthrough. Um, and the sense actually were not friendly with us. Um, I can't remember which quest it was because I was going to have to kill the synths to get the quest done. But, uh, you know, I was already in the Institute and they were going to be friendly. But turns out they weren't friendly. So we didn't have to worry about it. I don't remember what quest that was. stuff the stuff that has a, a few things in it we'll, we'll take it and of course adhesive <clears throat> I don't know what that was that a dish rag I was trying to get the soap They definitely had some stuff uh, stashed back here. <clears throat> and the mayor was going to have his own private little bunker. Got it. I'll leave those. This is normally where you start running into the synths. I am D. I am. Okay. All right.
Ooh, Western Duster. I think that's Preston's um, outfit. Model kit for a Mr. Gutsy, huh? We found the caps <clears throat> and the tech. Excuse me. Oh, come on. That's it. Um, oh, I'll take your plasma grenades. Yeah, okay. And that was uh, what we came for, but uh, that's awesome. Uh, my brain and I, a twisted love tale. What? Well, we can regenerate one point of health per minute, so. Uh, that, that, that'll work. Uh, what? Yeah, I don't remember which quest it was. I, I... Nice. Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, it wasn't a toaster. I'm sorry. It was a radio. And he was drinking a beer. But that's the mayor. Looks like he drank quite a few beers before he did it. Uh, no, I don't need your harpoons. But, yeah, that's the mayor of Boston. Taking the coward's way out. But he was trying to save his family. I'll give him kudos for that. Oh, I almost forgot the nuclear material. This, I think this is a guard shack here, the guard's room or whatever you want to call it. And was this the, yeah, um, see if we can get in there. That's it. I'll never do that again. Yep. He certainly did. Okay, so we got right away, Medex, Mintats, Radex. But that looks to be it. All right. Yeah, this was the guard's uh, room. Oh, there's the bathroom key. I don't need it. We already broke in, but hey. Um, I guess I'm picking up that ceramic. All right. I mean, what did he really think was going to happen? Did he think that the people of Boston would not find out that their own mayor was building a bunker for himself? Ball, and there's the uniform, the kids' uniforms. Uh, dog meat, you weren't supposed to open the door, but okay. There's a death claw around here somewhere. I haven't seen a single scent either. But that's the entrance to the death claw.
Okay. He went down really easily. Okay. Fat man. Yeah, I'm overweight now. That's pretty much exactly what it was, Doc. He was just an arrogant dude. And figured he could get away with it. And then while everybody in Boston's suffering, he's laid up in a bunker, happy as hell with his wife and kids. Plenty of food, plenty of everything. Just taking as much of this as you can, dog meat. I'll get it all off of you later. This boy can carry more than Kate can, for sure. All right, that's good enough. And I haven't seen X6 either. See, there's our sense right there. Very good. Nothing to report. Okay. I'm not going to pick any of this stuff up. Yeah, he had a basketball court down here uh, for the kids. They could play baseball out here, and put the bases all down and everything. Yeah. Arrogance. And the wife and kids actually wound up paying for it, pretty much. Um, that way. Yeah, you can see once we once we got to the death claw, all the scents come out. Scanning. Subject identified. Scanning. Unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Unknown identity, huh? Are you gonna come on? Oops. <laughs> But that's true. Typical politicians. Typical sense to hide from Death Claw, too. <laughs> okay, so that one is now done. I think the other one is for the uh, federal ration stockpile. Missile launcher, yeah. And that's another death call there, so eh. I don't really care about either one of those. This one would get the note out of my inventory. So I guess we could um We could do something there, I guess. Um
finally shows up. Um, SRB. Uh, they were, they were not too bad. Reporting status. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Unit B-592 is undergoing the reclamation process as we speak. Before long, he'll be back in the workforce. Justin? The McDonough synth has another report ready for pickup. Can you make the trip? Yes. Yeah, all right. I'll go get it. The mayor synth will wait for you in his office. Head back here as soon as you've got it. All right, well, that's all the quests we're going to get out of him, so... <clears throat> I just don't like that Justin runs the SRB like he's a Gestapo. I never have like that. All right, let's see. We're going Lonely Chapel. Sorry if I yawned in your ear there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into the Lonely Chapel because that's the back way in. Yes, I know there's stuff in the suitcase, bud. I'll take that. Good enough. And you can go in here and go through the back way. You can take out Red Tourette and get the passcode, the keys, and everything and go straight in without having to go through everybody outside and everybody inside unless you want to do a full clear and all that good stuff you know but if you if you just want to hurry up and run through it and get it uh, that's the way to do it go to the lonely chapel and um just take her out real quick and be done with it now we have a high enough sneak. I should be able to sneak past all of this. What the hell was that? Don't you die on me. But unfortunately, I think some of my companions maybe didn't have enough sneak. Show your face. I thought I heard something move. Use every resource you can. That's how you survive up here. Um, these notes. This is Red Tourette's. She leads the raiders here at the stockpile. Um, her sister was kidnapped by a guy named Tower Tom, who leads the raiders at Beantown Brewery. And she was sending letters so that they would send them food and then she got suspicious because the letters changed tone uh and it turns out tower tom um red Tourette's sister escaped his bindings or whatever and attacked him and he killed her and to hide it he dropped her into the vats the beer vats and he said it improved the taste of the beer so, um, yeah, that's a thing. 
All right, we have another turret somewhere around here. I know where it's at, dude. But yeah, um, killed her and threw her in the bats. Dog meat, you have really got to get out of the fucking way. Sorry, that irritated me. Who's there? Playing games with me, huh? No, not really. Didn't even break a sweat. And I mean, you can go explore the entire thing and all that, but we're basically just here to. Uh, I don't see a missile launcher. Where's the missile launcher? Up there. Okay. Who's trying to hide? He didn't really stand a chance. A rolling pin. Just give him a stem pack. All right. So yeah, we got to go up again. Apparently, it's not where I thought it was. Right there, but. All right, how do we get right there? Not this way, obviously. It's not in here. See, this is where I figured it would be was in this chest, but apparently not. still fine uh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Where are you? 
Nothing. I was starting to get bored. It was nothing, boys. Right, Doc? Uh, some of it just makes no sense. Yeah, I'm not gonna set these off, so yeah, that sucks to be yell, right? I'm trying to find the generator room now. And there's our missile launcher up here. Okay. Well, now we've done that. And by the way, this entire storyline with the Raiders killing Raiders, if you do Beantown Brewery, it's on Tinker Tom's Terminal 2. Not Tinker Tom. Tower Tom. It's on Tower Tom's Terminal 2. You can read the story there. You can read it in the notes right there with Red to Red. It's all there. Okay, so that is done. Now we need to go unload myself and dog meat. So, uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, no. That's where we're going, dude. so confusing how old are you oh yeah vicious I'm, I'm in the Institute right now with this with this particular character This is a murder hobo, and uh, she's not technically supposed to join any factions um, based off of the Dungeons and Dragons rulebook for murder hobos. Um, I, I say rulebook, it's not really a rulebook, it's just a guide on how to make a murder hobo. But she had to join the railroad to get to the Institute, and then she joined the Institute because you have to do something to win the game. Um, well, hey there, bud. Hey. You try to lock the whole Commonwealth with your simple. Everybody has to say. S uh, I put. Oh, it's still running. That's why. Okay. I was like, I know I put some veggie stars in there.
If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by... Let's just drop everything we're not going to need here off. And we'll put all the ammo in the administrative Watch office up. over here. Can't let the civilians get ammo. Um, I like goo piles, honestly. Yes, I do. thought and forgot all about it where we could go next <clears throat> x6 standing there like he's holding a folder or a clipboard he's been stuck like that this whole time mm, i know i know we were gonna go get virgil's serum I've been forgetting to go get it and I need to just go get it and give it to him. It takes a long time to get that rifle with all the attachments on it. Uh, bioscience. Robotics. I'm not discussing that shit with you. usually guess on these sweet okay now the serum right there you can also give that holotape to madison uh, or maybe it's that one and give it to madison and she will leave the institute uh however you do that usually with the brotherhood i've never done it without the brotherhood you know um But if you can hack that and go in the back way, you never have to face the the turrets. You never have to face the assaultron. Any of that, you just go in there and get the stuff and leave. 
and then let them wonder why that grid's down. X688 with me going to Virgil's either. This might be fun. <clears throat> oh, great. Like we need this. <laughs> oh, great. Like we need this. Not gonna hurt you, X6. I find this amusing because X6 is the one that gave Kellogg the file to go take this dude out. And we're fixing to go give him the serum to cure himself. Interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing. And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. That's good. It is. But there's only one way to know if it works. <laughs> He's looking at dog me like you are in the way, dog. Dude, you missed the mark. No. We wait. It'll work. Don't worry. I hope so. We just have to let the retrovirus run its course. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event... You kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Okay. Hey. What do you need? <clears throat> Here you go. Ugh. Your thoughts? The way I see it, the Commonwealth is the past, and the Institute is the future. All right. That was it. Sure. Okay, well, I'm. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Here, that rogue sent at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs.
Okay. I'm still trying to figure out why we're receiving a distress beacon here. We are not hungry, so... All you people just standing around, I'll show up, you go to work. Stop with that. Okay, um... Yeah, that's the highest we're gonna be able to get, so... Improved automatic recoil, standard sights, that's what we wanted to do. Put a reflex sight on there. These are all the best you can get, so... That's three quests we've knocked out. So let's see. Yeah, we got fusion cells there. Looks like evening time. Yeah, I'd say so. It's 6 p.m. Put these up. There. Now I want to look at 7.62. We got 425. We're going to need a lot more than that. Because when I talk to Mason, I'm going to get the, what is it, splatter cannon? Or either that's the one you can buy from the merchants. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But they're both, the one you can buy from the merchant and the one Mason gives you are both the exact same guns. They do the same thing. It's raining. Raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Blah, blah, blah. It's always about Libertalia. You guys really need some more stuff. 
Um, yeah, let's go city. I think their elevator's broken. Are you serious? All right. Excuse me, but I'm very busy right now. McDonough. Ah, the courier. I hope your journey here was uneventful. It was fine. Thanks for asking. Good, good. On to the business at hand, then. Piper almost managed to get a hold of some compromising information. I was able to keep things out of her hands, but she's clever. I've recommended time and time again that we consider her a priority. But I understand if there are other concerns. Just let our mutual friends know that it's still a problem. Just let our mutual friends know that it's still a problem. As you um. know, the rest is contained within this report. Remember, don't... You've got nothing to worry about. I have every confidence in you. I'll let you see yourself out. Do travel safely. Worried about Piper. Yeah, I think the uh, elevator's broken. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. Operating at full capacity. From what I hear, that rogue scent at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. X688 sounded very impressed with your work at Libertalia. He doesn't give praise lightly. Well done. I have another report from the mayor. Good. I'll take that from you. I'll let you know when I need you to pick up the next report. That's all for now. See you around. Mm-hmm. I hate you. Yes, what is it? Oh, uh, no. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Still nothing. Okay. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed.
Fallout 4, load screens. That's the thing. <laughs> okay, and it's still raining, yes. Um, but we're gonna go kill raiders. Now this little town is flooded, so the raiders, in their geniusness, put everything on the rooftops. So we just gotta access the rooftops and we can get started on them. Luckily, I have a jetpack. That's interesting. Oh, that's a gunner. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, and that's Brotherhood. Hmm. Looks like we're going to get to take out some Brotherhood. Never hide by a car, my dude. I'd rather kill Brotherhood than Raiders right now. These are Minutemen. Oh, I'm definitely glad I'm killing Brotherhood. They killed my Minutemen. Oh, uh, there's a gunner. Okay, so the gunners may have killed my Minutemen, but hey. Still. And yeah, definitely jetpack for the win. It doesn't look like they were too worried. I love X6, you're already dead. Get off me. Oh, get cover. play games oh. a lucky ripper hmm interesting that's why I was getting jacked up though. Automatic assault rifle? Yeah. That'll do it. You're dead. Hear me? Always get your sounds very stained. Oh, I thought that was dog meat. Damn. And he made friends with him. Okay. Y'all are gonna stand on them. Okay. Oh, you just gonna turn around and cripple my limbs? Okay, all right. All right. I can dig it. Damn. 
Just drop, will you? I got things to do. <laughs> X6 is awesome. Me too. Sloppy tactics, bad aim. There we go. Some revealed place will be happy now. Poor puppy. need your Molotov cocktail actually. I haven't needed those for a long time. Ninety-one damage on that fucker. Damn. Yeah, that missile's gonna get heavy. X6 found him a weapon. An assault rifle, even. It's not, um. What's up? What's up? Yeah. An exchange of supplies could be useful. Could be. Automatic assault rifle. Okay. All right. Um. Why don't you. All right. That's 91. That is 39. Okay. All right. I keep that yeah you keep that one um there's a throne around here somewhere with a magazine yeah right here and there's the mag the grognak oh well Night vision, rapid combat shotgun. Ah, uh, that makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, what else? The, the assault rifle will sell. I don't really need that. That that'll sell for a lot. Uh, yeah, those will all sell really well. Okay, I'm gonna keep all those. That is money. Oh, uh, you can keep that. I got some of those. Yeah, that was my thought too. But, you know, that's his throne. And his name was Scudder. Make of that what you will. All right. That was it. Hyde Park done. I'm not going to pick that up either. This place is full of traps, by the way. Now, if we were doing the... Um, There's another warehouse like this, but I think it's uh, there. This is where you can start the Minuteman quest. Uh, there should be some power armor here with a paint job on it. And you get you get three Minutemen power armor paint jobs, and I think two Gunner power armor paint jobs. And then once you paint the armor here, then you can go. It starts the quest to go to Quincy, and let the Minutemen take Quincy back from the Gunners. It's a really cool quest. It gives you some good paint jobs and stuff. Uh, I haven't started it. That's why the power armor's not here though. Uh, but it's a T-51, it's a full set of T-51, and, um, you get some really cool paint jobs out of it. And then you go take over Quincy with the Minutemen. Now, the one thing I don't like about the quest, and I've said this since the beginning, is I've had Preston Garvey with me when we went as the Minutemen to take Quincy back, and we whooped their asses, and the Minutemen are walking all around Quincy now. We own Quincy, and Preston never says a word. That's the only thing I don't like about that. 
other than that, it's a awesome quest. But Doc, we already knew that. We knew you have a filthy mind. So do I. <clears throat> Let's have some one of those. There we go. Now we're good. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, this is where it'll start. If I ever selected the quest to do it, um, this was actually a Minuteman. A Minuteman mechanic was in here trying to fix up the power armor, uh, and of course she gets taken out, and you got to go to her house or something, and got to find some codes, things like that. But yeah, it all ends up in Quincy. And I did that on one of the, my other playthroughs, but. Well, I mean, honestly, yeah, I mean, I, I see what you're saying with that, but yeah, no, he, he just, he has nothing at all to say about, which I understand it wasn't written into the mod that way. So, I mean, I understand why he doesn't, but I think, I think they should have given him a couple of lines, you know, when you take over Quincy with the Minutemen again. Um, but at any rate, um, the rain has put out the fires and we're good to go now. So, and we've done what they asked us to do so we can go tell them, Hey, it's done. And I'm just going to go straight over to Somerville place instead of going to the Institute first. Why is Daredevil on my Coke can? I mean, I like Daredevil, but why is he on my Coke can? All right, there he is. Hi. <clears throat> so could we stop worrying about paying tribute to those raiders? They won't bother you again. They won't be bothering you again. Thanks. It's good to know we can count on you guys when we're in trouble. Yeah, just don't call me if you get attacked. I don't care. I put turrets out here for you. A lot of turrets, apparently. All right, so that's done. Um. That starts Far Harbor. That starts the Balt Tech quest that I haven't done. I don't want to build a Balt. Um, we could actually do this just to get it out. And then um, Pallet and Brandis, we could just let him stay in hiding. Because if we convince him to go back to the Brotherhood, then he gets blown up. <laughs> However, us being an enemy of the Brotherhood right now, I don't know how um, he would greet us. That might be kind of interesting. I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, Battlefield holotape. Okay. Night Terra Aslan, Brotherhood of Steel, Recon. 
Recon Team 429 Alpha, serial number 3431. Brotherhood of Steel. In three hours since I set my distress pulsar. There's been no word from the Paladin or Ferris. Their objective was a satellite array on the coast. They may be out of range. My orders were to hold this position at all costs. The entire site has been overrun. The door won't last much longer. Paladin Brandis, sir. It's been an honor, sir. Excuse me. Now, investigate the satellite array. Okay. All right. Now, when I do this quest, normally I love to have dance with me when I'm doing it because of his dialogue. He has a lot of special dialogue when you're doing this quest. However, um, I've already killed him, so. <laughs> oh yeah, we can go to Counter Crossing. There's my rifle that hadn't showed up yet. gotten him because every time I've come here he said somebody's been kidnapped him. so oh they're both here now hmm oh uh, this one's gonna have to be go hard because I don't have a shut up doc <laughs> I don't have a sniper rifle so yeah we're just going to have to get in and blast. Um. Ah, I see. I think we're being shattered. Now the Brotherhood was attacking this place, so they may have taken some of them out. for my arrogance. Okay. All right, bud. Doc, I wouldn't say it's that I know you so well. I just know you have keywords. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Oh. technically leave now. Or just watch X6 run around and kill shit. I don't know. Check 
Ferris, there we go. Ah, this is <laughs> it's been two hours since the paladin left. My leg, I can't staunch the bleeding. Uh, the bullet must have hit an artery. Brandis, if you get this, I hope you made it back to Aslan in time. There was nothing you could do for me ah get to the bunker up north you will survive that's all that uh, all that matters all right Green Top Nursery and Alpha. Uh, what time is it? It's 3.30 p.m. Uh, we're gonna... Get a little nap time. I'm looking forward to the next mission. What do you think we've been doing, son? I just, I, it's not that I like uh, to let him have all the fun. It's just, he's standing out in the middle of nothing with no cover and he's just jumping right and left and dodging bullets with the super mutant it's hilarious I, I love how these guys in this game how they got them programmed that they can jump to the left or right to dodge bullets I love it that does not work in real life I'm sorry to say some people might can dodge one or two but yeah eventually they'll get nuked okay Those are money. I'll dig them out and get my money later. We'll drop that ammo off. Uh, we're gonna put this stuff in here though. Um, all right.
right, so now we gotta go to the bunker. And I'm thinking Breakheart Banks would probably be the closest to get there. We did clear Breakheart Banks. So it shouldn't be much of a problem. Oh, we leveled up. Hmm, okay. We need one more there and two more there. Hmm. Now I need five in trooper to put a silencer or a, or a suppressor onto the handmade rifle. So we're gonna put a point there and go with it all right I mean, don't wander down there. There's a Marlar Queen down there somewhere. There's also a Behemoth going this way a lot of times. It's, it's really a random encounter, to be quite honest. It is a random encounter, but most of the time it's a Behemoth. Because that little dirt road right there, that's our road to the bunker. And Brandis does trap it too. It will have um, mines. However, I'm immune to mines right now. So, and a lot of times on this dirt road, there's a random encounter right down there. We'll have to see. I have ran into a death claw on this little dirt road here, and then. Once I killed the death claw, when I rounded the corner, there was a behemoth. Now, who are you? Farmer, raider, raider, farmer. Oh, great. All right, so I'm going to have to save the farmers uh, with automatic weapons. Okay, that's going to happen. stranger that's more than most would have done you're welcome did ah yeah the other one made it good <clears throat> you saved our lives I th thank you thank you oops well sucks to be you <laughs> I mean, I don't set mines off, but I guess he did. That is actually quite amusing when it happens. I've seen it twice. That behemoth didn't want to have anything to do with Liberty Prime either. 
But he was throwing rocks at Liberty Prom, and Liberty Prom threw a mini nuke back at him. Actually, it was a nuke nuke, not a mini nuke, because that thing's huge. That's what she said. Um, poor farmer. Doesn't off mines like that. Now, the behemoth is usually over there, and he wanders. I'm trying to see if I hear him. Because they make a certain noise. Yep, there he is. He's running. And now he's goo. I know I beat you to it. point a gun at me he did threaten to blow my head off but are you brandis what who are you where did you hear that name i followed the distress beacons left by your team their holotapes led me here the others what uh, what happened to them they're dead paladin I recovered their tags. You, you, you did? Thank you. This, this really means a lot to me. I tried to go back for them, you know. There was nothing I could do, not alone, but, but I'd hoped you've been through a lot to find me. I should, I should give you something. I've collected a lot over the years. Technology, odds and ends. If you see anything you want, take it, take it. I'm glad I was able to help. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. I'm going to leave the fusion core for him, of course. Not going to take all of us. I think, uh, is there, um, give me that. That's nuclear material. Of course, there's no magazine on the toilet. Nah. I will definitely take your antibiotics, Brandis. You can keep your food. Take what you need and go. What do you think I'm doing, son? I'm not robbing you blind, though. Again, poor farmer. Thanks for saving my life. Boom. At least I didn't kill him. I am a murder hobo, though. I've, uh, <clears throat> I've never seen a behemoth run, though. And it was definitely running. It was running away. He had death claw meat on him. stuff but there's a chance to run across a mylar queen 
hop in here. That place has Mirelarks in it. This is the supposedly the most radiated lake in the game. More radiation here than the glowing sea, some people say. Now I can't back that up, but the Environmental Protection Agency did do a report that's in that office that says this is a very radiated lake. Oh, those are bugs, okay. But out in the middle of the lake, there's a whole bunch of radiation and stuff. And there was a fishing tournament here. And some boats got flipped over and like this one. And some other ones. And uh, people died. And they canceled the tournament. What? Get off me. That's one of my dog. And that's the Galleria now. That's what I was looking for the ID card when I was in uh, the, um, not Robco. Oh, fuck. what the hell's the name of it? Where the Mechanist quest starts. Yeah, General Atomics right there. I was looking for the ID card to give to that dude. Although, we do have a very high charisma. We could probably just do it and get away with it. Um, I, I really don't know who he'd call. <laughs> Maybe, because you know, a behemoth was human at one point also, just like most all super mutants. Uh, maybe it was just, whoa, dude, get off me. Uh, hello? Oh, well, I'm going back to get blood leaf. Because we're way low on blood leaf. There we go. Without getting irradiated more. Dog meat just swimming around in the lake. Dog meat. That's the most irradiated lake here. Let's go. Where is X6? Hey, Crater. Welcome to the General Atomics Galleria. You must be our new supervisor. Yes, yes I am. Uh, yes, yes, that's right. <clears throat> Splendid. Well, let me be the first to welcome you to your new assignment. Once you've had a chance to get settled in, 
should report to the director. His office is located in the statue in the center of the plaza. The Galleria is currently closed to the public, but staff and employees are permitted on the grounds, of course. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to assist you. Why is the Galleria closed? I'm sorry, but due to pending litigation, I am unable to comment. Please direct your inquiries to the General Atomics <laughs> Pending litigation. Uh, Doc Bloodleaf is uh, used in um, used in uh, chemistry. Used in the chemistry lab, to make uh, stuff with. And communist. Who are you calling a maggot? Right there. I've been monitoring your approach. Impressive. Very impressive. For a low life criminal. I'm reporting in. As ordered. Reporting in? Wait. The grand reopening? Are you grand reopening supervisor 18 Alpha? You're late. Yes. Yes, that's right. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication. So I'm going to need to see your ID, sir. Here. Scanning. Scanning. Error in scanning subroutine. Identity accepted on a provisional basis. Accessing protocols. All units, stand by for the grand reopening. Processing firmware updates. Done. Reinstating combat inhibitors. Done. Designating new facility supervisor. Done. The General Atomics Galleria is now open for business. As the grand reopening supervisor, you will be conducting tonight's customer appreciation raffle. Here is the grand prize. That'll be all, soldier. Dismissed. Fifteen pre-war money. Okay. Dog me, did you frickin' fall off again? One time I put down a conquest workbench here. I want your stores cleaned yesterday. Move it, move it. Oh. And the amount of things I could not scrap or do here was ridiculous. So I don't really do that anymore. Lots of there's lots of loot here and stuff, and I'll get it later. Or next time i don't know but anyway that's done so that's another thing out of the way all right what else we got <laughs> talk to jack cabot i don't really feel like it on jack cabot uh we haven't turned that in yet and got abernathy for him eh, don't care we can't turn that in because we blew Tinker Tom away. I know, right? Or put him in power armor so it wouldn't hurt when he fell. I mean, a lot of these are creation club quests, but, uh, Uh, 
He didn't nearly kill anybody. He did kill somebody. But that's because the Air Force gave him a weapon that actually had live ammo in it. Instead of blanks. So, I mean, technically it wasn't his fault, but... Hmm? You know, I fully believe he is a synth. I think we were discussing this the other night because, I mean, you know, when you talk to Mama Murphy in Conquer, when you have dog meat with you, she says his name, you know, and he chooses who he, you know, wants as a companion. He chooses. Yeah, yeah, dog meat's a synth. And actually, Rumi was in here with us that night because she looked up the original dog meat from Fallout 3 and it was an Australian something something, not a German Shepherd. But, you know. I don't want to do any of these. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Um, that leads to Far Harbor. That's Vault Tech. Mm. I don't want to do the Mechanist Lair. Although we do now, I think, have the hacking. Yeah, we could actually hack our way find all the tapes and then go in the back way and not even have to fight all those bots. I'll be honest, I was thinking about going ahead and ending the Murder Hobo playthrough and starting the Helldiver playthrough. So I'm kind of working on finishing this one up. Because we have till the 23rd, so that's what, 13 days? We can do another playthrough in 13 days. I swear if they're telling me my power's been restored again. Okay. I never accept a weapon without checking it all the way through. I know. Uh, I was just making a joke about Fallout actors, you know, in the Fallout world. Um, but then, you know, uh, a certain actor in our world came to mind. And uh, the joke kind of fell flat. <laughs> Because that, that did happen to someone 
in our world recently and he feels so bad about it. APC is still a starlight. <laughs> now, I disagree with this statement. A new player in the Commonwealth, the Rust Devils are a Raider game with a taste for technology and the smarts to use it. No, they they dumb motherfuckers just like all the rest of them. Yeah, funny that. Does that mean that we're actually headed more and more for the Fallout world? Hmm. Yeah, um, the first thing that they did when that happened is they started trying to blame someone else. And they actually did blame someone else. Uh, the, one of the set uh, set design people or something. And it's like, no, no, they didn't do it. You did it. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm totally with Grizz on this one. You hand me a weapon... I'm going to check if it's loaded, if there's one chambered, if it's, I'm going to check everything about it and probably going to clean it because I don't trust motherfuckers with weapons. I really don't. Now uh, we have plenty of water. Hello? Okay, so we did pick it up. It just didn't show me it picked it up. That's weird. So how much water we got now? 83. Damn. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. You know, you know what this world is missing that the Fallout world has? Well, um... Fallout. That's what is missing, Fallout. Of course, we'd probably have to wait 280 years to be able to do anything, but hey. Yeah. Oh, that's my provision. Okay. Some of the scientists enjoy filmed entertainment. I have no use for it. Some of the scientists enjoy filmed entertainment. Um, let's talk X6. What, what, what kind of filmed entertainment are we talking about? Doo -doo -doo. Looks like something from your time. Uh, 
Well, I was more alluding to the fact, Grizz, that it's 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 missing the fallout. It's missing the nuclear bombs and everybody dead. And then, you know, yeah, that's the only thing we're missing. Because other than that, you got the corporate greed already. That's 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 a done deal. Hello, can you use the jetpack before you move forward? Thank you. Wow. That's not stealing? Okay. Most, if you pick stuff like that, stealing. She owns the aluminum can that's laying on the ground. Still owe you money. Are you looking at me like I owe you money? I know what I can sell. I only have 61 of them. And see, that's, that is, it, well, let me say it can be an interesting topic because historically speaking, the Fallout world, the Fallout games were based off of this world, but on a different timeline. Like everything up to World War II is the exact same in both worlds. But at the end of World War II, that's where we go our separate ways. And this world is what would have happened if we would have gone heavy into the nuclear um, research and study and everything. Um, no, you really didn't. I, I killed him. No, you didn't miss anything. We basically got up on the topic of dumbass actors and people not checking their weapons. And then I was talking about the diverging timelines. Because this, this game is based on if we would have went nuclear at the end of World War II um, with research and technology, we would have had robots and we would have had, you know, other things, but nuclear got a really bad rep and there's people still today that don't like to live close to nuclear reactors and things like that.
Yeah, the cars are based off of 1950s cars for the most part, which we all knew that. I mean, you know, none of that's anything that we haven't ever discussed. Yeah, I can't drop this even though I'm done the quest and I'll finish the quest. I still have to keep her holotype. And his holotype. Great. There we go. We've done both of those, so. All right. Yes? Y'all are still here? Okay, all right. I don't care, it's raining, hang out. What ammo you got, Carla? workbench right there Too far away from our next level. Uh, limb damage. All right, we'll fix that. Oh, uh, what time is it? Oh, Three Mile Island definitely set them off. And then Chernobyl did not help at all. Um, I was watching a documentary on Three Mile Island and, um, but there are, there was a reactor, um, never had any problems. It was built. Everything was working fine. And the people that were living near it, just, they were throwing a fit and, um, they basically voted it out so they had to shut the reactor down and everything and now it's just it's the building with everything you know packed up and all that and it um yeah just just a huge waste i mean Honestly, it's still the cleanest power sources out there. Um, <coughs> but as long as people have it in the back of their minds and they fear that nuclear power, it's never going to, it's never going to do anything. So we're going to be, you know, just not having any. Now, this is the fallout world. I doubt they were properly shielded, to be honest. Um, 
I'm just wondering what kind of regulations they would have on that. Uh, I, I totally believe that. Uh, I mean, I've done vast studies on the nuclear power. Um, I mean, hell, in the Army, it's one of the things I did was, you know, um, clean up detection, uh, decontamination, things like that and you learn a lot about how it operates when you learn how to clean it up basically and people can say whatever they want to say you know but all the nuclear accidents that we've had has been some person's fault or multiple person's fault it wasn't the machinery, honestly. Yes, yes. You tell him. Puppy came over from scratches. All right, I'll lay down. I'll lay down. <laughs> I mean hell even there's a place I can take you guys here uh, and let you read the terminal where an inspector showed up at the mass fusion disposal site or something mass fusion mass fusion storage shed showed up to inspect and they were talking to each other about this dude coming up and they're like well we just got to make him disappear and whenever you get around to a certain area he crawls up out of the freaking sewers and yeah they they dropped him down in the radioactive sewers and he he was ghoulified so even with regulations in place the corporations was just like kill him if they give you a problem kill him and that's what they did Because much like today, corporations rule the world. Or maybe it's the mass fusion containment shed. I can't remember exactly, and I don't even remember exactly where they are. That's Poseidon. I mean, Poseidon wasn't much better. But it was a corporation. Um, but you can read in some of the, uh, in the Mass Fusion building, you can read some of the entries and stuff, and that dude was having problems. Um, customers were having brownouts and blackouts and um because he was trying to uh he he tried to have some kind of what was it like a power converter or something in their houses and um just wasn't providing the energy that was needed
the sheds right up in here. But let's put a marker there. Which rumor? About the Illuminati? Okay, so we need to go east. Is this also our Blade Runner uh, Easter egg? Yes, it is. Now, everyone who watches me has probably already seen this. But this is a Blade Runner Easter egg. Normally, there is a dead raider here. And this is... to stop but anyway he's here there's a dead writer here and uh yeah that's the easter egg we're taking lots of rads but that's because this is the containment facility so let's remove that marker um i should have two rad x on me or I, actually i have that Oh yeah. Um Well, I could I could kind of answer that a little bit. Um We actually have uh containment facilities that um that work. Basically, we solved the nuclear waste problem two decades ago or more. Um Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh. Oh, well, that's great. Let's start a fire. Okay, I can't loot that ghoul for some reason. Or the legendary. Wow. All right. Um, is it up here? I think. Yeah, in this little office. the security door first I 
should have known. Doc. Okay, a hazardous material inspector stopped in today unannounced to check out our operation. I started to feel like he was getting suspicious of what has actually been going on around here. I told Mr. Feld and he said if the inspector started catching on, we needed to get rid of him. And he didn't mean ask him to go away. Well, he caught on, so we had to get rid of him. If anyone finds out what we did, they'll put me away for life. Uh-huh. See? This is what I'm talking about. Now, let me get rid of some of these freaking rads. Um... Okay, so, uh, reading that, now, we go in here, yeah. this little room right here with all the barrels, all right? We're going to take a lot of rads, but here's our inspector coming up out of the, out of the ground. Yep. They got rid of him by dumping him in there. And that is the story of the mass fusion containment shed. They killed the inspector, dumped him in the thing. But look at all these barrels laying around here. Oh, this truck has stuff in it too. Hmm. This is one of the wicked shipping trucks. If you have the key, you can open it. Or you can pick the lock. Yeah, either way. But yeah. All right, let me use my last um, beverage. Refreshing beverage is the fastest and best way to get rid of rads and heal and addictions. Literally, it will make you shine. Literally. Oh, this is the sandwich, guys. You can't just put something in these two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want, man. You put that piece of my alert meat between two pieces of bread. But it still ain't a sandwich. Well, what the hell would you call it then? Disgusting. That's <laughs> Well, I mean, <clears throat> I got distracted by telling that story of the containment shed, but I mean, we figured out nuclear waste decades ago, honestly. Um, you can look, you can watch Kyle Hill and he he can take you to a nuclear power plant he's got a video he goes to a nuclear power plant and they have everything all stored not giving off any radiation at all completely safe for humans to be around it and yeah it's done um sweden also has a thing where i think it's sweden and maybe norway uh, one or the other but anyway um, where they just dig deep down in the earth and everything is packed in concrete and all kinds of uh, other good shit and it's completely safe there's absolutely no danger to it at all um, and they can store any nuclear waste for the next like 4,000 years with the current storage that they have allotted they can, they can store it basically forever so, I mean, the only, the only thing that keeps people 
Now, I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to be completely accurate or not, but I think that Hollywood has not helped us out in this category at all. Because, you know, first off, we have Chernobyl and Three Mile Island. People are kind of leery of nuclear power. And then Hollywood and even this game, even Fallout, they have these barrels of goo just laying around that are highly radioactive. And they make zombies and shit, you know. There's plenty of zombie movies that have radioactive material in barrels that gets wrecked and spilled everywhere. And, you know, even here, like I said in this game, it's all over the place like that containment shed we just came from. There is nowhere in the world right now that people store nuclear waste in a barrel like that. It's not done. It's not done. That's not how you do it. And like I said, I don't know how accurate it was, but that's kind of how I feel about it is Hollywood does not help out with the bullshit that they, I mean, and look, I'm going to tell you, I love some of those movies, those cheesy ass zombie freaking movies that have nuclear waste materials in them that, that supposedly cause it. I love those movies. Those are great movies, cult classics, but you shouldn't believe them. Isn't this a death claw house? Sleepwalker. Now this is the sleepwalker. Okay. Uh, the, the sleepwalker note starts here and it ends on the bridge. Um, sky. The fallen sky bridge. And he actually actually sleepwalks off the bridge and dies. Pretty much. Unless I'm getting something twisted up in, in my memory. Because he was worried about sleepwalking and he actually went there so he could not worry about it so much. And he sleepwalks off the end of the bridge. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for a fictional story, it's great, but that's not how it is in real life. And try to convince somebody of that, that has convinced themselves that Hollywood gets it right. You know, uh, it's, it's not going to happen. You're never going to convince somebody in this day and age that they're wrong. Keep the plasma grenades. I grabbed the just I just grabbed stuff out of those good yeah, I was getting irradiated and screw that. So let's set up a salvage beacon because I'm still carrying a lot of food and stuff uh that's weighing us down, honestly. But I got tired of running out of water and all that good shit. I got eighty one freaking water on me. But there's a theory that if I keep all the water in the workshop, that makes the water pumps stop working. So, yeah, I don't know. Yes, that is so true. And I mean, I know that for a fact, you know, I've talked to some people and they are convinced that we're all going to die from radiation sickness. It's just what? Seriously? Come on, guy. Come on. I mean, I even gave them links to stuff they could look up online and they no, no, we're just going to die. We're all going to die of radiation sickness. 
and it's all our government's fault and blah 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 and i just i just quit trying to convince people i mean yes there are some horrible things around here that governments have done they have not helped out with quite uh, no we're not going to old gullet sinkhole um they have not helped out perpetuating rumors um but yeah Malden that's okay that's what I was trying to think of Malden now here's the old gullet sinkhole from the other way and right down there is a death claw or either he's right over there he may be right over there but anyway we don't need we don't need anything from here Yeah, they, they definitely do not use their common sense anymore. Well, here's my theory on, on a lot of that too. The government wants to keep everybody at each other's throats because as long as we're fighting each other, we're not fighting them and they get to do what they want. They get to do insider trading and they get to start wars and all kinds of crap and we're too busy worried about each other's politics and religion to uh to stop it so it is what it is and uh i don't talk about politics or religion on this channel just letting y'all know uh that's just how i see it though There's no sense down here. Okay. Operating at full capacity. You look like you're operating at full capacity. Scanning. Subject identified. Very good. Don't worry. Glory's never going to show up over here to hurt you. I took care of Glory. And dog meat sees him. That was a crit. Very nicely done. Talos? Oh, you, you can, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Talos is a divine, yes. The Thalmor can suck it. Playing ESO though, I got even more insight into the thou more than I could possibly have wanted. But Kate Beckinsale voicing the Queen just did it for me. I mean, the thou more are still wrong, but you know, Kate Beckinsale, hello.
Super Mutant Town, Bug Town. Let's uh, avoid both of them. Hey, who put that boat there? We're running very close to the super mutant town. radiated I can say that much okay Poseidon ah uh, true that yes Excuse me? First you didn't reload. And then you just let that thing whoop your ass. And it doesn't matter because poisoned. I mean, aren't they all? Oh, now you're gonna reload again. Okay, let's try to let's try to kill the freaking thing. <laughs> uh, that might sell. There was a uh, in Fallout seventy six. There was a story of a dude that came in to one of the medical stations and he had been drinking dirty water and he said that uh, the water tasted better and then he promptly died because he drank irradiated water a lot because he liked the taste. Okay, I know where we're at. like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful.
supplies. Oh. What is it? Food. <laughs> I guess it depends on the fire water. Oh, he finally followed us. Well, isn't that interesting? can come back out that is actually the component how much of that do we have uh, 53 okay so not bad this place is really coming together huh I can't take all the credit acid or nuclear material acid That 300 concrete's heavy. I'm dropping cloth on the floor. Dog, don't scatter stuff everywhere. And yeah, I would that definitely prefer my fire water not being radioactive. For sure. What's going on? Check one more time for my Tesla rifle. Still no Tesla rifle.
I mean, we got the Assaultron head. We got the Mr. Handy Buzzblade. Where is my Tesla rifle? And those are the only two places I could have possibly sent it. I mean, the castle, yeah, but I don't think so. Why do we have stuff in here? Yeah, why do we have all this junk in here? I sent all this stuff out. Hey, Heather. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. It's kind of just a little slow. I mean, I've just been uh, picking stuff randomly to do. <laughs> That's actually doesn't need to be broken down. Neither does that. Okay, hang on. That does.
rest of this is actually already components. This rest is making me tired. I can tell. Um, sorry, let me catch up here. Hey, now <laughs> I'm not being slack, I am doing stuff just slowly. The storm technically is dissipated now. Um, it still shows on the weather.com that it's overhead a little bit. But I mean, honestly, the worst part of it was last night and this morning. And uh, I think we got power back 3 34 o'clock, something like that, maybe. I, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, I I do want to start another character. I do. Um, I feel like we've pretty much accomplished what we set out to do. And we role-played the murder hobo very well. For me, very well. Because normally I don't go around just randomly wiping out settlements. Um, but I think we did pretty good on it. You know, uh, but Doc, let me show you something here. Um, that's the armor. There we go. Tesla rifle. It's sad that I have to come here and get mine, but. That is the Tesla rifle. And it fires an electrical discharge that arcs between targets. So theoretically it's an AOE weapon. Uh, you can upgrade it in different ways. And uh, now on the next character that I make, it's actually going to be a really good weapon. Um, it's going to kind of fit with it, but well, I mean, you cannot kill everybody in the freaking Commonwealth. I don't like it either, and I don't really use it. Um, but for the next character, 
it's going to be uh, a facsimile of a weapon that's in Helldivers. Um, but anyway, Doc, that's the Tesla rifle. Not made by Elon Musk. And I'm going to keep this one since I'm supposed to have one, but... Look, man, I wiped out the railroad. I wiped out the Brotherhood except for their airship. Um, I wiped out an entire settlement. Then I wiped out another entire settlement. I mean, I can't kill DC guards because then I won't be able to go trade in Diamond City. I can't kill these people because, well, one, a lot of them are essential, and two, if without them, I don't get adhesive. So, you know, I, I think we've done pretty fair you hear about that with what we have to work with. Just saying. What's this marker bar? Oh, go check on Virgil. Okay, well. And what's this one for? Oh, active salvage. Okay, I don't care about active salvage beacons. I mean, I guess it could have been, you know. Uh, yeah. But he was too busy making flamethrowers. Excuse me. <clears throat> I wish Quentin would stop telling me stupid stories. Well, tell Quentin to stop telling stupid stories. some refinement but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success this is incredible it is a significant first step but it still only works on one strain of FED it will take years perhaps decades to generalize my formula still you have my gratitude you are welcome to make use of my lab or help yourself to any of this junk if you want it in the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. Uh-huh.
<laughs> I was just there a little while ago. And shot the behemoth with a plasma rifle and it was running from me. First behemoth I've ever seen run from me. And did get a lot of blood leaf from it too. <laughs> But we were finishing up the um, the Lost Patrol quest up at the recon bunker up here. <clears throat> but there's Lake Quinnipiola right there. So yeah, I mean, we were really, really close. I didn't see the um, Marler Queen though. She didn't pop up. She sometimes will pop up over here on this side. Not today, though. She was like, nope, mm -mm. he just killed a behemoth. I ain't going over there. Mommy Marler. <laughs> um, I see them there sometimes, and then there is a place um, in that direction somewhere. I'm trying to remember, but you send a radio tower up and you get some distress calls. And there's one, it's like a bunker at a picnic area overlooking a little lake river area. And when you check out that bunker, you'll see uh, some Mirelurks down by the water. And if you get too close to the water, the Mirelurk Queen comes out. Uh, and that's pretty much all I can really remember of that one. The only reason I really remember most of it is because my roommate at the time had to show me where the little bunker trap door was. It's under a bush that's by a picnic table. Um, and then of course, that's when the Myrler queen popped up and said, Hey, how you doing? And I said, I'm just fine. I'm going in this trap door and hopefully you're gone when I come out. Yeah, I'm, we've completely done this quest and I can't get these holotapes out of my inventory. That's how that works. Still out. Okay. That is all. Um, hmm. 
I know there's a relay tower because you, and at that same relay tower, it's a distress call from a boat, and uh, you have to find the boat, and you can go through the door and go into the cabin of the boat. That's the only boat that you can really do that with. That's true too, Grizz. If you get a Myler Queen, you should be able to feed a settlement for about a week. A whole settlement. There should be plenty of meat on that thing. Uh, normally I get about five meat off of one and it's just like, you know, that's not even five meals actually in survival. That's like two meals in survival. Um, let me... Let me see. Galleria. There's the bunker. I'm trying to see if I'm remembering stuff correctly. Oh, the Queens. <clears throat> there is no, there's no comparison, really. The Queens are much worse. The Marler King will hit you with a sonic wave, psionic wave that could mess up your, you know, give you a head wound or something. Uh, the Queen spits acid on you and can club you to death and just, uh, it's horrible. Now, this is a lake. No. Oh yeah, they're they're actually and they look so much better than you know other mylark species things. So they look better than the lake lurks did in New Vegas and better than the Meyer lurks did in three. The kings are really cool. Queens are ugly. The queens are a big, ugly thing, but the kings are kind of elegant. But yeah, they will shoot a, like a sonic beam at you that can give you a head wound. Yeah, I was telling them about the Environmental Protection Agency had done reports down there. Well, you know, the fallout version of that. And Lake Quantumpawit is one of the most radiated bodies of water in fallout. And right out in the middle of it is all the nuclear barrels. And that got us talking about, you know, Hollywood and all kinds of other stuff. And people's fear of nuclear power. <clears throat> but I'm trying to find that radio beacon. Um. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What the? All right, puppies. Four puppies. And we did level, and we need to put that right there. And the next one needs to go into commando and that'll give us five and five but then i can put silencers on the handmaids or suppressors whatever you want to call them oh i can't go that way come on man can't 
go that way either, apparently. All right. All right, be that way. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. That's where the Protectron law enforcement one is. Bunkers over there. Maybe we need to be... I know it's not around like Quantapawit. I know it's not way up here. It's... Where the hell is it though? More than likely, yes. More than likely, Grizz, we probably would. <clears throat> um, but it's getting dark, great. I don't want it to get dark. I need light. That's actually, um, before I say that though, can't sit. Oh, well the settlers are here now. When we cleared this, they weren't here. These people were probably eaten. Yes, it's obvious they were eaten. Yeah, that's why I wanted I wanted to be light. I do have night vision, but you can only sleep five hours on dirty m bullshit. Pardon my French, but I have a mod that lets me sleep eight hours. What time is it? I slept for eight hours. You moron. All right, uh, let's have some food and water. Okay. Um, let's give it a couple hours to get light. There we go. Okay. The first thing, uh, we're going to go that way. In survival, melons are very important at the beginning of the game because they are food and water. <clears throat> now, we got that boat right there. It's familiar. Yes. Of course, there's another one right there that's exactly the same. But there should be a Myler Queen somewhere around there. Now there should also be a picnic area around here somewhere. And that boat, you should access the cabin. Let me see. Maybe not. No, it's got the door. Yeah, you can access this cabin. This is one of the only boats in the game that you can phase into and it's 
when you raise the radio tower, you get this beacon. But these guys were out to sea and they got washed in here and trapped. So they boarded up the cabin and set off the distress, but then everything started leaking. <clears throat> Chicken noodle soup, thank you. But yeah, this is one of the only boats that you can uh, zone into. Now that tells me the picnic area is close. Now the picnic area is going to be overlooking the water. Now there should be a radio tower we can raise up somewhere around here and get those and get those distress messages, beacons and stuff. Now there is, this is for your landmark, that's the tower. I can't remember the little town, the little settlement now. But that's where you can go turn the siren on and get the death claws. And the boat's right there. And there's the tower. Um, now let me... There she is, Marla Queen, right there. Yep, there she is. Yep, Lim Woods. There's Lim Woods. You got the two upside down boats, one over there and one over there, and then you got the boats that you can get into right there. There's the Marla Queen. Now, where's the frickin' picnic area? I know the, the picnic area overlooks the water. But I can't remember exactly where. No, that's too far that way, I think. It's too close to the water down there, too. But when you get to the picnic area and you find it and you go down in the little bunker, um, the, the distress message is there's a monster that has trapped them in the bunker. And then when you come out, you see that. Now, this is supposedly a pre-war message. And I'm just wondering what pre-war, war, well, actually not pre-war. Very shortly after the bombs dropped is when this message was made. And I'm just wondering what kind of monster would have trapped them because it would have been too soon for Mylar Queens at that point. But I don't see the picnic area. It's kind of irritating me now.
I don't even see the uh, radio tower that you have to raise up. That's the containment shed where they killed the inspector. And the relay tower has to be close because you would you, you pick up the distress signals. <clears throat> oh, that's the um, mass fusion containment shed. It's the one with the Blade Runner uh, Easter egg on it. Um, it's it's full of radioactive barrels and stuff. It's right here. It's between uh, the Atomics Galleria and Breakheart Banks. It's right in the middle where this road comes down. There it is. I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I just don't know exactly where the stuff is. Good luck trying to wash that smell off. <laughs> Whoa! Get off me. bug okay automated radio alarm there is an automated radio alarm that is the containment that is the containment uh, there's a breach in the basement for the containment building you can go turn that off uh, the green briar I'm not sure which one that is Let me turn it off a little bit here. Um, Yeah, the containment building over there, the boat down there, and then there's the one where they're trapped in the little picnic bunker. But where's the little picnic bunker? I think that one is the boat. Message. message repeats in three seconds. <laughs> Anyone help us? We're stuck in an old bunker next to the river. Those things are crawling around up there. We're trapped. If you yeah, these are the ones that are trapped. Um. Anyway. A 
I'm not going to spend a whole lot more time looking for it. Just know that there's a picnic area around here somewhere. And the bunker is under a bush. By a table. That's pretty much all I remember. And I remember the first time I found it, the roommate had to come in here and show me where the bunker was. Because I could not find the bunker to save my life. Hmm, squirrel is a bit gamey and tough. That's gonna drive me bug nuts. Damn it. Green Briar radio signal. We're in range for the Green Briar radio signal. There should be a sign that says Scenic Overlook somewhere, maybe. I'm with you on the crispy bacon. Bacon is good stuff. And turkey's good. Sometimes turkey's a little dry though. I don't envy you. Succeeding father isn't going to be easy. Oh, it'll be easy. He just has to die. the tower okay I said I wasn't gonna look but it's driving bug nuts now so I'm I'm, I'm fixing to stop looking that's a yaogwai yes it is X688 admires me. Um, we're still. Oh boy, we're on top of a mountain, dude. Yeah, what, what, what? Of course. When father told us about you and who you were, it was clear he had certain biases. How could he not? He's your son. I'm proud of it. When he shared his plan for you to take his place, well, a lot of us thought that was more than just pride. It was narcissism. How would you? an outsider who knew nothing about us run the institute we all had our doubts me maybe more than most but now after watching the way you operate well i have to admit i was wrong it's clear to me now that father knew what he was doing and i shouldn't have trusted him he seems to genuinely care about the institute i'm sure he only wants what's best it's true He's dedicated his whole life to it. I know that you haven't had much time with him. But I can tell you honestly, ma'am. Father is a great man. I believe in his plan for the future. I'll do anything in my power to make sure that future becomes a reality. Do I like wading through the filth that is the Commonwealth and all of its vermin? Of course not. But if that's what the Institute needs me to do, then I'll do it. My point is... You should be proud to call him your son. I am proud. I'm glad to hear that, ma'am. 
Anyway, I've said what I wanted to say. Thanks for listening. <laughs> um, X6 is one of my more favorite companions. He is, I, I really do like him. Um, Doc, don't be trying to talk people into trying bug nuts, okay? It's not going to work. It is the green bar radio signal. Well, let's give me a map. It is a southern thing. It really is. Um, I'm I'm a little bit distracted. I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, at higher levels, a Marlin Queen may spawn near the entrance of the bunker. Are you telling me? snap my fingers at you map yeah give me the map yeah okay straight east from the tower where's the tower again over here i'm there straight east right there All right, looks like we're killing a queen. Now you're making me blush. <laughs> okay. There it is. All right, there's our Marlar Queen still. Here's our picnic area. And here is our bunker entrance right here under the bus.
See, your boy does know what he's talking about sometimes. <laughs> and there's the radio that you can turn off. There's a couple of skeletons. They, according to the radio, I couldn't hear it, but maybe y'all could a little bit. But according to the radio message that they were putting out, is they were trapped in this bunker by beasts, some kind of beasts. Uh, and they went through all these. Uh, this is all food in the cans that they went through and everything. But uh, yeah, and this is an old abandoned bunker that they found. And uh, squirrel bits. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyway, I do not want to know what you pulled out of here. Give me the aluminum ones. But there it is. I know a million secret places like that. Sometimes I just forget exactly where they are. What? You can't even count that on. Um, I can count to a million. It might take me a while, but I can do it. The poor. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> But yeah, there's there's a pick. It was it was definitely not where I thought it was. But yeah, right there. Myler Queen's over there. The boat there. It's a lot closer to the water than I thought it was. And if you have trouble finding that, it's right it's right next to the box. And there's more uh, blood leaf down there. So, um, <clears throat> uh, Doc, Cajun accents would get me hooked on. Never mind. Oh, you ain't lying. I know I ain't lying. A Cajun accent, dude. Oof. That just means they know good food and maybe that. Mm. So, um, have you ever seen the uh, the radio the the radiated room full of the scientists and the the uh, the corporate people from the fish packing plant? Have you seen that one? say fish packing plant I mean the one that's over here this this one have you seen the uh, secret room from that one <laughs> if you could hear doc you probably could listen to us all day I have a southern drawl. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I've never heard Doc speak, but I'm assuming uh, since he's, you know, from Nolens, that he possibly can speak like the Cajuns do. And if that's the point, then yes, you could listen to us for days. Okay, you don't know where that one's at. All right, I'll show you that one too. Let's go over to Parsons. And there's a story. I did a video on this um, on uh, story time with Damien. So in this fish packing plant, there are terminals and they say that um, you know, they ask about leaving and, um, going yeah, here or there. Oh, okay. I need some ammo anyway. Come on. Uh, 
I'm not here for you, but I'll take your ammo. So anyway, they had asked him about leaving and everything, you know, and the corporate shields there were like, no, you, you guys just stay here. We're going to lock the place down. So they locked the place down and they left. They're like, okay, they're locked in there. We're going to go over here to the secret place and we'll be safe. And that's what they did. I'm not even joking. I'll show you. I need to get it on my map anyway. Okay, Doc. We do have a lady present. <laughs> oh, super mutants. How much can you freaking take, dude? Okay, look, don't run by when I'm trying to loot. Now, the scents that are here aren't going to bother us because I'm with the Institute. But I'm just getting this on my map and I'll tell you the story. Okay, so this is Makra. Yeah, Makra. This is Makra. Okay, so uh, the higher ups, the bosses and everything told them they were going to lock the place down. So all the employees were stuck in there. That's where, that's all the skeletons that are in there. They were stuck. So once they locked it down, the corporate higher ups are like, all right, we're getting the fuck out of here. Pardon my French, but that's what they said. So they, oh yeah, perfect timing. Uh, so they, left everybody locked up and they came over here to this room that's their hideout now let's make sure we're fully loaded oh well well doc ain't rude Doc ain't rude. He's he's dirty minded like I am, you know. But yeah. So in the hideout. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Okay. This is the hideout, now that I've had to fix it. When you come through the door, you come in here and first off, you're going to see all the ghouls. And it's full of gas too, by the way. Give me that, because I'm not coming back. But yeah, um, this is where all the corporate people came. And left everybody else at Makra. Let me get my rat X and stuff going. And my glowing... Uh, yeah. 
and this is they they all got ghoulified except for these that died but yeah they were gonna come over here and hide out and wait for the nuclear apocalypse to pass them by i guess but yeah And a lot of people don't know this even exists. And if you want to risk some radiation like that, you can come in here and uh, get a fusion core and get some loot. Um, but yeah, it's not really worth it, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, it's a lot of bad rads in here. And let me go ahead and heal up. Yeah, if you want to come in here, that's I didn't feel like going to get one. I plus I had stuff to kill the radiation, but yeah, um, and it's under that bridge. That's all our uh, that's all our higher ups from Makra. Like I said, I did a full video on it. Um, to tell the story of, of that one uh, because not a lot of people know I've, I've talked to people like I'm in fallout groups on Facebook and stuff like that and I've talked to people and they're like I have no idea what you're talking about you know and I'm like there's a bridge uh, going to mock or fish packing plant and there's a room under it and they're like I, I have no idea I've never seen it so I did a video turns out a lot of people have never seen it Well, even us dirty minded guys do have, uh, you know, some etiquette. Most of us. Some don't, but most of us. What did I get in there? Weakness. It's always weakness. 20% damage. Yeah. Get out of here. I get weak in the knees for one thing. Damn sure in a goal. <clears throat> Where were we talking about that Mylar Queen spawning croup banner? is dark why are the lights on in Croup Manor I haven't fixed anything it has me on edge too brother it, it really does no defense no beds no food no water two people here wow <laughs> um 
Die How you doing? I, I'll get y'all some beds and some food and stuff. Anyway. Left side of the church. Um, uh, um. Of course it's gonna be gunners, but is it all gunners? Gunner, gunner, gunner. Operators. Okay, you guys can have it, because I haven't made enemies of the operators yet. wanted a place to sit and wait out the daylight you guys hurry up will you well doc you confused me on that one because i'm like wait what and then and then the ever ready mccready yep oh bruh. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, hello, jump the fence. I mean, that's not a word I use anyway. I don't really care for that word myself. Ah, there she is. And that hurts. Yes, that, 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 yes. Get it off. And it'll kill you really quick. There we go. The left side of the chapel. I know where that one's going. <laughs> A few Australian friends who love that word. One of them told me it's like a national pastime using that word. They also told me though it doesn't mean the same thing or something. I don't know. Oh, I got you in the light now. Uh, I'll add a shower in here too. She looks mad that they don't have food and beds and stuff.
If it wasn't such a long way to find my room here, but no, I ain't got time for all that. Yeah, we would be um, one of one of my friends. Actually, it's Sun Chaser's friend, but he's kind of my friend too. But uh, we'd be playing World of Warcraft, and he would come into Discord. We'd be raiding and stuff, and that word was just left and right. <laughs> like I said, I don't really use that word, and I would kind of look funny, and he he thought it was hilarious. Um, but I mean, different cultures, you know, so I just put it down to that and went on about my business. Some of the ladies didn't know how to take it though. All right, let's, yeah, I, I'm trying to be careful, Sturgis. Like not standing anywhere close to you guys. I was gonna say, Kate. Um, I don't ask for much. Just need a full bottle and some bones to break. Was I not good or something for breaking bones? Uh, anyway, I'm not even. No, no, not touching that one. Okay, now I want to double check before I do dumb stuff. Uh, that's Nordhagen. Croup Manor has one already. Okay, that's why I double check. The only place that doesn't have one is Ten Pines, and that's because I killed everybody. Okay, all right. Then now that it is daylight, we're going to do this the fast way. care for spitting in general <laughs> shut up doc
with this particular character I went up there to talk to him and she pulled a gun on me you know like they she that whoever whichever one you talk to they always pull a gun on you what do you want and yeah this character just wasn't having none of that so yeah I, I, I answered a question <clears throat> Okay, so. There are two of you here. So I will give you two beds because I ain't doing nothing at Croup Banner. Alright. We're going to do the minimum thing that I can do for group manner. Uh, what? Alright, now food. And water. There are only two of you here. That's good enough for water. And we have 172 of these damn things. Wow. That's six food. Um... you are you still look pissed off all right now y'all have plenty of food water and beds and defense the girly happy now let's get the hell away from Croup Manor Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn where everything is. <clears throat> okay, let me unpack most of what was said here. Um, Doc, yeah, yeah, I mean. Even though I don't really know you, Doc, we, we kind of think alike in certain ways. And, you know, we're both from the South, so that's not unusual. Uh, I do swear. I swear a lot. And I usually just do so in everyday speaking. Uh, but I try to curb it 
when I'm around people that don't really care for it too much. Most of the time, I don't really give two flips. It's just the way I am. But, you know, I am a nice guy sometimes. Um, that would be, what's the one, what's the, uh, the Meyer Lurk that looks like a shrimp that spits at you? Meyer Lurk Hunters. The Meyer Lurk Hunters are shrimp, dog. They're big and juicy and they spit shit at you. <coughs> Literally. Do you hear me talking? Hello? It must make you proud to see all that father has done. All that he has built. What's your name? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't lie either. I have no need to. I'm not going to miss everyone complaining about insufficient power levels. Um, you used to getting complaints about being in insufficient. Never mind. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> uh, shrimp etouffee is really, really good. You know what I miss though? I miss having a nice mofolata. I would probably kill someone for it. But anyway, I, don't, I haven't eaten bread in two weeks now. So, right yeah. Was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. You wouldn't know a menace if she got naked in front of you. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. I wasn't expecting you to let us live. That surprised me. Uh. Oh, Higgs. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you live. Wouldn't have done any good to get what? Um. <clears throat> it's called a, a muffalata. And it is so much more than a sandwich. <clears throat> and I have not had one in probably... ...20 years. But they're so good.
Well, Heather, <clears throat> I threw a description of the muffalata in 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 the chat. <clears throat> now I used to get those uh, when I was on a drill team, and uh, we were working New Orleans, and I would get the muffalata in the morning, freshly made. I'd put it on the dash, and at lunchtime that thing was perfect. I mean, perfect. Oh. I understand. Uh, I do. Uh, I, on the other hand, would tear that thing up. I mean, I would be greasy from my freaking chin to my elbows. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's the one thing I miss about not being around New Orleans very much. And Doc, to answer your question, I. I did not see anything about a hundred pound shrimp. But what the hell would you do with a hundred pound shrimp? That, you know, a hundred pound shrimp is counterintuitive to what a shrimp actually is. That doesn't even compute. And Heather, the roommate's the same way. She 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 can't do a lot of meat. Um, messes with her stomach. <clears throat> Something with the digestion. Me, however, my stomach is cast iron. I used to watch some Supernatural, yeah. Not gonna lie, Felicia Day made that show for me for a while. Redhead. Oof. Uh, well, at the end, when you have it, Grizz, 
you can say worth it. I could eat nothing but meat every day and not have a problem. <clears throat> Matter of fact, that's what I'm trying to do, but sometimes I'm from the South, man. You can't, you can't take bread out of a Southern boy. You can take it away from him, but he's always going to want that. I was raised on biscuits and cornbread, light bread. All the starches. But Doc, how would you, one, how would you prepare a hundred pound shrimp? And two, well, as Grizz said, you'd feed the community with it. But yeah, what's not good for you? <laughs> eh. I'll just be honest. <clears throat> uh, Grizz kind of got me on this a little bit. But I have not felt as good in probably 30 years. Um, I feel better than I have in a long time. And actually with just eating nothing but like a carnivore diet, a lot of uh, skin issues and health issues have gone away. Completely gone. Um, and I did a lot of research on it too. I listened to what Grizz was telling me and then I researched it myself and, uh, I've not had any problems at all. I'm healthier than I was. I'm losing weight a little bit at a time, but yeah, it's actually doing really good with me. When I can stick to it, <clears throat> I do backslide. Well, Doc, in, in my life, I haven't ever heard a lot of Cajuns really get sick. Most Cajuns, they might get a cold occasionally. <laughs> but uh, like um, my grandparents, they, they lived in uh, Hawnville. And I mean, they were as Cajun as day is long. And they were very seldom ever sick. They had lots of seafood, um, you know, red beans, rice, seafood, lots of celery and carrots and all that good stuff. Virtually the picture of perfect health. Well, that's why we take supplements.
Damn, I've almost forgotten I was playing a game. <clears throat> okay, all right. Uh, what, what, what the hell was I even doing? Except for listening to these people. Damn, I thought it was snowing for a minute. Ah, uh, it's raining. Okay. I thought that was thunder, but... That... Sounds more like a behemoth tearing through town. Heads up. No, I don't want to talk to you. No. I wanted my crispy squirrel bits. Okay, 14, 13, 12. key out on supply run went to the post bar oh the tears bar all right where's the tears bar that way They moved all right. They just moved to the ground. The cheers bar.
Hey, Spin. Uh, we're still in the murder hobo. We're we're drawing it, drawing it to a close. Norm. What? Oh, well, that's what? Hello? What outfit is that? Taking that and that. Why did I just hear music? Oh. And mostly spin, I've just been hanging out talking with, with Heather and Doc and Grizz. Well, it's good to see you, brother. You've been uh, getting good sleep, I hope. Okay, I missed I missed that earlier statement, Heather. Uh, your cleaning lady cannot believe how old because you're not. Oh, okay. Oh, you're on vacation in Spain. Nice. Okay. Okay, now we go back. We have the key. <laughs> we'll get you adjusted to uh, Southern speak. cafe nice this is a creation club mod by the way it is purely creation club and in the back of the cafe is the apartment Ellie's notes on all things Nuka. That's Eleonora. That's the modder. Uh, I have not been on vacation since mm, 2010. 
I very seldom get a day off and I have not been on vacation in many, many, many years. Okay, and this is actually a player home also. You can use it as a player home. And you have a cafe down. You can role play where you open the cafe for uh, people's. But there's your there's your workshop. Let me open my fridge. And here's the cafe. If I ever went to the Philippines, I would probably never come back. Okay, so that's the cafe done. And now apparently I'm hungry and thirsty. Go. Go ahead and save that. Now, what's next? Well, hubris is right around the corner. Literally right around the corner. Um, well, I mean, yeah, Heather, uh, Eleonora, she does a lot of mods for Skyrim and Fallout. And, uh, I think she does play the Sims too. I'm not sure, but she is really good. She's very talented. She does a lot of armor and clothing mods also, but she can design a place that's just out of this world. All right. Keep your eyes open. The dead are going to be walking. These images are a poor representation of reality. It's as if a child drew them. Good. Even try. There's no hole above my head. Never know what I should have seen them. Yeah. Engaging target. Don't forget to check your ammo levels. I'm just here for the comic books. Nice. Maybe an axe. I mean, most of our moderators from uh, the job I'm contracted to, most, uh, well, all of our moderators are from the Philippines. Very nice people. Got it. Bingo.
could have just carried all that, but. I would not pick up a tablespoon that a ghoul had. Sorry. That is definitely not something I can wash off. Wait, where did I see... I don't know why I picked up a toothbrush. That's even worse than a spoon. Well, I mean, uh, I don't either, Grizz. I, I would not personally own a place that I opened up to let people come in and dine. Because uh, I would probably knock them in the head and tell them to get the hell out. Because I don't do rude. But, uh, you know, this character... It, you know, wants to make some money. That might be a good way to make money. I don't know. I guess it's clear after all. Are you high on crack, maybe? I'd rather. Don't pick up any silver shroud stuff. You can't get it out of your inventory. of light here. Founders frowned on television. They thought it was a detriment to science. Nice. Television is a detriment to science. You you all heard it here. Two magazines in Hubris Comics, though. So. Alright, now supposedly this is what I'm here for. Okay, now I know what this quest is. It leads to the sword and the helmet. Okay. All right. It leads to the sword and the helmet. Oh, yeah, I know. But uh, that would mean that I'd have to do the Silver Star quest. But, yeah. Heather, that would be an actual challenge for me since I have to pick it up. That would drive me insane. I would not be good at it at all. Though, it, yeah, it would save time. You wouldn't have to run around collecting everything. <clears throat> uh, Doc, it would probably run away with another ghoul. Yeah, I've done the Silver Shroud a couple of times, but most of the time I don't do it. Because you have to go talk to Ken Conley, then you have to do all the good neighbor crap. <clears throat> yeah, man. Mm. No. <clears throat> Alright, well we're gonna we've started this, so we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of this. Bingo. 
I know. I know that's the idea, but holy crap. I would be running by and go, no, that's aluminum. I have to have aluminum. What? No. <laughs> <clears throat> go through an entire game you only use what you can find or what you buy you can't pick up any junk you can't collect anything you know ex except for if you kill somebody and they have it on them you can get it no picking locks for safes only doors nope I'm, I'm already uh, I'm getting anxiety thinking that Yeah, his name's Ken Connolly, and if you're not really fast, you're not going to save him. Um, <clears throat> I saved him once, and uh, it was on my sniper character. And before the conversation was done, I just shot the dude in the head. I don't like being this exposed. Um, we're on a rooftop, buddy. We're, we're on a rooftop. They have no angle to shoot you unless they're higher than you are. He made the jump, Bob didn't make it, and Bob was a long jumper in high school, and Bob is now dead. Down there. That's Bob. Don't be Bob. Stupid animal. Damn! X6 just bailed. He just boop. After he called dog meat stupid. All right, there's the throne room key. And Doc, you're never gonna guess where the throne room is. Well, Sven, if you were gonna rescue Ken, you shouldn't have brought an explosive minigun. <laughs> you dumbass. go through the whole building I'm just gonna jump down off the back side because the throne rooms down there yeah here's the throne room and I get a sword and there's a helmet around here somewhere now get this this is your extra chuckle doc it's the throne room in the oyster bar. If that don't make you giggle, I don't know what will. Where's my helmet? <laughs> okay, so she was leaning over, shooting down at my guy. And she turns and she sees me. I got the drop on her and she's going to turn around and shoot me. That's a dumbass. <laughs> that's just, that's all that is. I want my helmet. Where's my helmet? It was supposed to be a sword and a helmet. Did I miss something? <clears throat> yes, there's my helmet. What the hell was that? Hiding from me? You know, I'm tempted to just go up there and kill him. We're talking smack.
Okay, so that one's done. We still have a ton of frickin' quests in the in the log though. Enter the condo. I guess we could go over there. Okay, Sven, what's your good companion advice? <clears throat> oh, we haven't talked to them since the Battle of Bunker Hill. Yeah, let's go get Bunker Hill. <laughs> That's actually pretty damn good that you, you've been able to hold out and hit level 46, not even, not even get the Virgil yet. <clears throat> I tried to, I tried to do a character where I got to level 50 before I did the main storyline. I got bored. All right, Kessler, come here and give me Bunker Hill. Where you at? You're probably over here in the corn. Yep. Listen, Bunker Hill doesn't want any trouble. You have some seriously powerful friends. If it'll keep us on their good side, consider yourself to have the run of the place. And the next time you need something, just ask, all right? <laughs> and the whole thing is I had nothing to do with that <laughs> nothing at all the railroad had them stashed and I came to get them okay now about this condo There is a rock right there. Note to travelers. London is going to be cool. Um, definitely going to give it a shot. Okay, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Bunker Hill. 
Um, Doc, you were kind of reaching for that one, but it still works. It's uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> What the hell was I looking for? And who's Jenny? But Note to travelers. That's what I was looking for. Uh, Jim, Sally, Roger. I'm neither of those. None of those. Any of those. Either of those. Uh, you are where? That's all I need to know. Scavenging. Okay. You're over by Hubris. Find Charlie. There's the other one. That is there. That is hubris. All right. Kill as in bomb? Um, so confused. Okay, my, my brain is going in multiple directions because she speaks Cockney. Oh, all right. We're going to Huber's comic show. There's a dead body <clears throat> over here. Got the key to my condo. And apparently, I already got the key. Because I don't see a key to my condo. to the condo.
I vaguely remember running by that guy and grabbing all the stuff, but hopefully it reads it in my inventory. What, what kind of addiction, Sven? <laughs> Another cafe. Hmm. But upstairs. We have a workshop. There we go. And of course I get insomnia? What? Don't, 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 don't choke up a hairball. Yeah, these are mostly designed to be just player homes. Um, there was one player home that I tried out one time. And by the way, those are all uh, creation clubs. So I have them. I can't get rid of them now. 
unless I just totally uninstall the game and reinstall it without adding any of the Creation Club stuff. But um, there was only one I had that you could add settlers to, and that was a fiasco. Never add settlers to an apartment complex ever. They won't sleep in the right apartments, in the right beds. They won't. Dip. No, it just uh, mm -mm. no. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough adventure. So let's head back to Sanctuary. Well, that would be very convenient because Kate just took whatever side she wanted and I didn't get to choose. I mean, even in Fallout, you can tell which settlers, which settlers to sleep in which bed, but that's it. That's it. That's all you can do. Um, however, new settlers coming in will just assign themselves wherever they want. And 90% of the time, they assign themselves to my bed. Anywho. Yeah, I'm a synth. What you gonna do about it? Don't give me the side eye. was younger I uh, tried some different mods in like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas but um I don't really care for those either now I like uh, when I first started my YouTube channel uh, I was still running CBBE nude because I didn't like the underwear. The underwear were horrible. The the vanilla underwear are horrible. Um, but with YouTube, you can't do that. Um, so I had to go in and reconfigure CBBE. And I mean, it wasn't because I just wanted to see naked people running around all over the place, but I had mods like working showers. Uh, working bathtubs, working toilets, a lot of realism, a lot of immersion. Um, but yeah, you can't do that kind of stuff on YouTube. Um, I had a mod that when, like say my companion, when they actually went to bed, to sleep, they would change out all of their armor and put on a bathrobe or our um, long johns then when they woke up they would put their clothes and their armor back on because who is going to go to bed in combat armor 
and sleep all night and leave your head and your sunglasses on, your hat on, your, your combat on. No, that's not realistic. Um, but people have said that, uh, you know, I just like the, um, the uh, taboo mods. It's not exactly that. It's just I like realism. And some now I didn't do any of the really nasty ones, but I did do more of an immersive mod list. Um, all right. Well, this salvage beacon came in, but I'm not going to put all that. I'll, I'm either I'll do that off camera before I start the next one, or I will we'll worry about it later. Yeah, you can. With duct tape. Yeah. Hey, Nick. Yeah, I, people do play like that, but um, like I said, for me, it wasn't it wasn't because you know they were naked or anything like that. It was just um, I run CBBE, which if you look, she has fingernails. She has nice fingernails. There, her fingers are nice and clean. She doesn't have the big, blunt, dirty fingers. She doesn't have the chewed fingernails. Uh, that's just one aspect of CBBE. It makes things look more realistic instead of just the big chubby hands. Um, I mean, this is about as sexy as you get, honestly, with the nano suit and all that. Um, but with the mods that I was running to actually make them change clothes when they sleep or actually take showers, part of the shower mod, and this is why I don't run it on here anymore, is w when they went to take a shower or use the toilet, they would take their clothes off. And I'm like, you know, when you take a shower, you do take your clothes off. I understand that. But <clears throat> um, I don't know of anyone that has done that to use the toilet but maybe I don't know <clears throat> but anyway on YouTube you hate the nano suit I love the nano suit man um I used to run a, another one it was called Pampas and it would give very revealing outfits and I um I used it for the bodysuit for my characters that were in power armor um, because it didn't make sense for them to be in full combat armor, you know, and everything and be in the power armor. So I would give them a bodysuit. Yeah, I understand. I, I understand exactly what you're talking about. I have seen when they're doing the green screen stuff. And yeah, the nano suit kind of looks that way. I can see that. Of course, you've also seen the serious armor, um, and that's the one that was, I think two playthroughs ago, she wore the serious armor, which was very good armor, but I, it's a little bit much because it takes away all fall damage and, uh, you know, things like that. And honestly, I feel like either you can go up to the top of mass fusion and go in the secret room up top and hack the, hack the uh, safe to get the, the combat armor legs that negate fall damage, or you can wear power armor to negate fall damage. Uh, even the mutations that I used from Fallout 76, the mod there that takes away fall damage, I didn't really like those. If you fall off a bridge and you don't have some way to negate fall damage, you should take fall damage. That's that's just all there is to it. I mean, realistically, 
you're going to take fall damage. But yeah, as far as kinky mods, I don't do those. I don't do those at all. Um, as a matter of fact, even here, uh, we were building the bar over there with the bordello up top as role play, and I didn't like. I was uncomfortable doing that. I uh, I, I don't like to do the. I, I don't like that at all. I like realistic and immersive i don't like i don't like kinky weird shit pardon my french <clears throat> yeah i've experimented with different types of armor and stuff um i even tried one it, it was called the mod was called modern firearms and it put modern firearms and ammunition in the game plus it would give you modern armor pieces in the game but that didn't really work out because i mean most modern armor today is just what we call body armor is just a vest with a ceramic plate in it that's body armor you know it's not like combat armor or synth armor or anything like that um <clears throat> so that didn't really work for me so i quit using that and then I kind of decided that I was not going to use armor mods. I was just going to use the normal armor that's in Fallout. But I kept the nano suit because I do like the nano suit. Plus, the nano suit gives me the jetpack. Yeah, the nano suit mod gives me the jetpack. It gives you. You can have uh, two swords. Um, now that sounds funny, not kinky. That sounds funny. A pimp in a big hat and a suit. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, I don't know if you had watched that one, uh, Heather, but I was talking about turning off some more mods and getting closer. I think you did watch that one because you said something about Sanctuary. Um, well, it's not really... Okay, and see, I was afraid there might be some confusion there. It's not really... We're not, we're not talking about an actual hobo. The, the term is murder hobo. It's all one word. And basically, it just means somebody that has no affiliation with a community and they kill anybody they want to and take their stuff. Pretty much what that is. Um, but yeah, they can dress in three piece suits if they wanted to. Uh, it's just. It's more of a, a lifestyle thing, I think. Uh, you, you know, anyway. Uh, wait till you see the hell diver. Yeah, that's going to be something. But the, the hell diver's not going to have any hidden nuances. He's going to be a very patriotic, all-American Democrat. I'm kidding. He's going to go for democracy, though. She is. She is not a pure murder hobo. I, I could not figure out a way to do a pure murder, murder hobo in this game. But yeah, this character did turn out to be a little bit too nice on helping some people. Now, helping the ones to get her started here and then basically using them as slave labor, that that is as intended. 
but helping other people out there and just being nice to them in general um now see that's that's a good question because <clears throat> I have no idea what any of those people are, you know, in the, in the mod. I, 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 I saw the different factions that are, are supposed to be, and, and the knights were really interesting, but I don't know. I, I, I don't, I have no idea. I'm going to have to try to figure that out. Um, But I'll tell you one thing, I'm going to have fun with it. And I'm going to talk to as many girls as I can just to hear their accents. That's I'm, I'm that straight up. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> The little bit of gameplay that I saw, uh, it was just a dude escaping from the test tube and punching like whatever those things were, hamsters or what, what, whatever. A World War II persona would be kind of cool actually because you know that's the diversion on the timeline was world war ii that would be kind of cool i know right <laughs> badgers that's what it was badgers and I mean, the storyline immediately grabbed me though, because this one dude's like, you know, the the guy, the boss guy or whatever. He, he's like, he's fixing to die, you know, and it blows up and everything. Dude escapes and he gets into the he gets into the uh, the tram train station, whatever it is there. And the dude's on the monitor going, you know, he's been watching progress or something like that. And I'm like, okay, this is this is this is going somewhere. I'm gonna be interested to see that. thought they looked like what is it hamsters I don't know I mean I I, uh, I wasn't sure cuz they I mean I watched it you know but I was like at first I thought rats cuz that made sense to me but then it didn't make since when they said badgers but because all i could think of was in then was, was a honey badger and they don't they don't take crap off anybody <clears throat> hedgehog and then there's sonic <laughs> okay And it's another slang for okay. Doc's learned a new word now.
badge are striped. Okay. That, that's true. Now I know. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Huh? You good? Oh yeah, yeah. I heard that sound from all the fucking way back there. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> badgers live in dens or bear nasty. Okay, all right. The badgers are disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> uh -huh. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely check it out and see because that's it's interesting because yeah they had they had kind of lost me a little bit with those I am definitely tired with the lights power being out and everything the storm and all that yeah it's kind of uh, got me pretty tired and I have to get up early to run into town <clears throat> so and I don't even know what the hell time is it. Oh, it's 2 a.m. Okay. All righty. Well, um, I do hate to cut it short, but I'm going to go ahead and call it here. And uh, hopefully I will catch you all tonight. Or Heather, maybe you in the morning. Your, 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 your morning. Yeah. Now I'm confusing myself. Okay. And you as well. I hope you have a great day. And uh, I will definitely see you later. And thank you all for coming and hanging out and having a conversation with me. And uh, y'all be good. All right.